In this session, we will learn how stratify parameters work in train test plate. Rather, the importance of uh, stratify parameter in the train test plate. So, what does it actually it will do? See, if we have the data set in which we have the distribution of classes in in certain format, we have suppose three classes. Of for which first class we have the distribution of 40% of the data for second class we have the distribution of 30% and for the third class we have the distribution of 30% so 40 30 30 then this stratify parameter ensures that the train test plate when it is done it will have the same distribution of 40 30 30 so we will see we'll use a example and we will see how it really works like we will see before without stratify and after using the like output after stratify so as usual what we'll do i'll import pandas and i'll use the sklearn data set the data set from sklearn library itself so what i'll do import pandas spd and then uh, from sklearn from sklearn import cross validation and uh, we will use the data sets okay after this what we'll do we'll use the iris data sets okay df underscore iris which is equals to data sets dot load underscore iris we'll get the features into our data set first before this we'll execute this three lines and we'll see what is the content here okay fine what is df underscore iris so you can see the entire data set is being printed here so we have the the features we have the four columns and the name of the features is at the bottom the features are this is our target like setosa versicular and virginica iris data and data set is nothing but related to the flower we are calculating the petal length petal width sepal length sepal width so we are dealing with those things yeah and the features name are sepal length in centimeter sepal width petal length and petal width in centimeters so now we need to simply extract the features so features is equals to df underscore iris dot we will take the two columns here so if we see the features it has extracted us the values it has extracted only one column now we will take we'll work with at least two columns so here we'll give colon two so what it will do actually so what is our df uh, we have already seen df underscore iris right so from this we'll extract the first two columns so the first two columns is 5 point the value here 5.1 and 3.5 so what we'll do we'll extract this and then we'll control it down. now if you open this features you can see the two columns is extracted here so we'll simply go and check these two columns are nothing but your your sepal length and sepal width similarly our labels also will extract labels is equals to target if we execute this the labels will be extracted like in this case we have three different categories which you can see 0 1 and 2 these are the three classes in our data set now what we need to do is we'll simply print and before this we'll convert df underscore labels if you go to pd dot data frame and we'll pass labels and then we'll print if you execute this if you print df labels okay the column name here is zero so what you need to do when you are printing this you need to give df labels zero dot value dot underscore counts so you can see my input in in my input data set for the class zero one and two is equally distributed now we'll start with our main thing what we need to x train dot train test split and this we need to pass the features comma labels okay and we'll say that size train test split is 0 0.8 we execute this train underscore or we can say simply test underscore test underscore size is equals to 0 0.2 so our data set is divided now if we if you want to now what we'll do we will uh, create two data frames one for x x train x test y train y test and we'll see the distribution of the values okay specifically we want to see y train and y test so df underscore y train which is equal to pd dot data frame and we'll pass y underscore train similarly df underscore y test which is equal to dot 
data frame and we'll pass y underscore test and after this we'll print both the values the, the similarly in this lines we'll print df df underscore y train y train column will be zero dot value underscore counts similarly here we'll pass y test there is some error we are doing here is this so now if we execute so now if we execute this okay the value count is a function so we have to give the braces like the brackets and execute this so we can see the data is not evenly distributed the class distribution is not equal as per the input data set so the my train test split is 20 is to 80 the 80 percent of 150 records will be how much okay so 80 percent of 80 percent of 150 will 120 so in if if the input like the train data set is 120 the number of record in the train, train data set is one uh, 120 then it should be 40 40 40 and similarly the 30 30 records will go into my test data set and it should be 10 10 10 each but it's not the case here the value is like unevenly distributed now what we'll do we will just keep this name in the same manner we will we like it's not a good habit but still let it be how it is and we will simply pass stratify is equals to labels so now if you execute this you see the value is evenly distributed for each of the three class so here we'll write after stratify parameter is used and then we'll execute the entire code so what happens actually before the value is stratified initially my the input data set the number of the class distribution is 50 50 50 each after that when we apply the train before the train split before the stratify parameter is used the the way in which the class is distributed is 41 41 38 which is not equal to all the three classes not distributed evenly same is the case for train and this test after the stratify stratify parameter is used the train and the test is equally distributed the proportion is equal so that is the main intention of this session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.